I want to start by saying that I am a real estate agent that's been selling real estate for 27 years. I'm also an owner broker. So I deal with people every day, helping them fulfill their American dream, which is buying their first home. I love certain parts of this bill, but there's one part that I find very alarming. Uh, yes, we want first time home buyers to get into the home market. Unfortunately, we understand that after the pandemic, there's going to be quite a few foreclosure sales. The foreclosure stay and eviction stay has now been lifted by the governor. So I ask you all to think about this. This is being offered, it used to be, right now the requirement for a share of sales, 20% down and you have to pay cash to buy the property. We're now allowing people to take financing, which means they can put down three and a half percent. That gives them a loan that's called an FHA 203K. That allows them to get money to fix up the property so that they can move into the property. What I want you guys to keep in mind is, we have the highest property taxes in the country. So now when the people purchase this home and they go and put the improvements in, we all know what's gonna happen. The assessor is gonna knock on their door and they're gonna raise their property taxes. This bill is making a requirement that they have to stay in the home as their primary residence for seven years. Think what just happened over the last two years. People lost their lives, people lost their jobs, people moved away, they went to freer states. This is going to basically hold these people hostage to their home for seven years. If they can't make the payments, what happens? We have another foreclosure problem. So I ask that you please listen to what I'm saying, think about it. We all want to see home ownership rise in this, in this state. It's very important to me. I love dealing with first time home buyers. This is not helping them. Even with the state grants that are given to first time home buyers, they only put a five year requirement for them to stay in the house and if they decide to move out within that five years, they pay back the money on a, on a scale, on a declining scale. So I ask that we put a lower requirement. I understand that it, there has to be some provisions in there so it stops investors from taking advantage of this program, but let's all work together as members and let's do what's right for the residents of New Jersey and let's get more people into the home buying industry. Another thing is more property taxes to help support the things that we need to get done. Thank you.